A bird is sitting on top of a car. It sees another car approaching it at a distance of 12 km. The speed of the two cars is 60 km per hour each. The bird starts flying from the first car and moves towards second car, reaches the second car and comes back to the first car and so on, till the two cars crash. If the speed at which the bird flies is 120 km per hour, then the total distance travelled by the bird before the crash is. Here, a bird is sitting on top of a car. That means, if this is a car, a bird is sitting on top of it. And it says another car approaching at a distance of 12 km. So, at a distance of 12 km, it says another car approaching it. So, another car approaching it at a distance of 12 km. Distance between these two cars is 12 km. And the speed of two cars is 60 km hour each. That means this is 60 km per hour and travelling in this direction. This is also 60 km per hour and travelling in the opposite direction. That means these two will facing each other. The bird starts flying from the first car and move towards the second car, reaches the second car and comes back to the first car and so on till the two cars crash. That means these two cars will crash till that time this bird will fly towards each other. That is when this bird fly to the second car, Again, it will go to the first car. Again, it will go to the second car. Again, it will come to the first car. Till these two cars will collide each other. That means, if this is first car, this bird is there and this bird will go to the second car. By the time the bird fly, this car will move here. Second car will move here. Then, bird will come here. Then, again, this bird will go back to the first car. That means, this car will come forward. Again, this bird will go to the Second car, by the time the car will move forward, again it go, goes back. So, till the bird will fly till these two cars have a crash. That is, meeting point of the two cars is the time travelled by the bird. That is, time travelled by the bird is equal to meeting point of the, that is collision point of the two cars, crash point of the two cars. So, here the bird will fly till these cars two have a crash. That means, Time of meet of these two cars will be same as time of bird fly. Time of bird fly. Here, this bird will fly till this cars to have a crash. So, here time of meet is equal to same as distance travel divided by relative speed. Here, both cars are at equal speed and running towards each other. That means running in opposite direction. So, here this is 12 km and both cars have equal speed. That means the cars, two cars will have a collision at the middle point. That is, at 6 km, these two cars will collide each other, hit each other. Here, relative speed is equal to, relative speed is equal to 60 plus 60 because both are facing each other, opposite. Both are facing opposite to each other. So, that means, relative speed will be 120 km per hour. So, here, time of mate will be, distance is equal to 12 km and relative speed is equal to 120. That means, 1 by 10 hour. So, time of mate is equal to time of bird is equal to 1 by 10 hour. So, your answer is total distance travelled by the bird. Total distance travelled by the bird. Distance travelled by the bird. So, that is equal to the speed of the bird into time of travel of bird. Here, speed of bird is 120 and time of bird is 1 by 10. That means, 12 km is the distance covered by the bird. Option B is your answer. Here, if you want to find out time to meet without this relative speed aspect, try to find out time taken by any of this car to reach this midpoint. That is time taken by this car to cover this 6 km distance. That is time of time is equal to time to meet is equal to distance divided by speed. Distance is equal to 6 and speed of car is equal to 60 km. So, so 6 by 60 is equal to 1 by 10 hour. So this is same as time to meet. Time of crash. So you can find find out the time of crash using this method also. If you don't know the relative speed aspect, you can use this method as well.